A Colorado boy is back home and getting the care he needs. Eight year old Stefan Curion was injured after being dragged during a horseback ride in Belize. After we shared his story, a generous Denver 7 viewer donated a flight on a special medically equipped plane. Denver 7's Christian Lopez was at Centennial Airport as Stefan's family and teachers welcomed him home. In just 24 hours, the community rallied behind this family and got Stefan back home to Colorado. This is the plane he arrived in. His teachers were also here to greet him with open arms. Yay! They made it. I'm really happy to be here. It's a little surreal. I was just in Belize a few hours ago. We did it. Yes. He's here. It's amazing. He's here. He's, he's, he's home. Yeah. <laughs> He's so home. happy he's back. How thankful are you to Peak Medivac? They saved my son's life. They're, they're angels and heroes, you know? And have you met Gino, the owner of Peak Medivac? How you doing? I'm so glad you made it. Oh, you bet. I'm so glad you made it. And I pray for, for your son. Thank you guys just for all the support. I just, I'm so happy to be home and get my son the care that he needs and get him feeling better. It is truly incredible to see how the community came together to help this family in need. Stefan arrived with his mom and sister, and he is now getting medical treatment at Children's Hospital Colorado. Reporting in Englewood, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. We'd like to thank Peak Medivac for all they have done to help Stefan and his family, but we're not surprised. The medical transport company's mission is to bring home people who are critically injured while on vacation far from home. Photojournalist Scott Blessing has more. It gives me a lot of pride to be able to do this for somebody. It's a critical care air ambulance. Um, myself as a registered nurse, I'm also a paramedic. Uh, my partner Roman is in there, he's a respiratory therapist and that's a usual part of the aeromedical crews. And so we're set up able to basically handle anything that comes our way. Our aircraft that you're seeing behind me is a Lear 35. It's kind of the, the main stain of this type of transport service. It's fast, it's sleek, it's efficient. Close. Provide medical care as needed. Most of the time it's a lot of it's monitoring, you know, anticipating. We know what's wrong with the patient. We just watch it there. It's vital signs every once in a while. Take care of their pain, make sure they're comfortable, and then we extend that actually to the family too, the people that'll be coming back with us. The medical side has been around for about three years. Uh, we have other divisions of here. We have maintenance, we have charter, but the medical side about three years now. When something happens on, out of the United States, it can get overwhelming on how to, how to handle it and take care of it. If anyone donates money to it, great, uh, I'll take, it is very costly and we'll, we'll take donations, but if no donations come in, it's absolutely free. It's not hard, but it's the coordination behind the scenes is the, the point. And if anybody else out there that's going, to, going out of the U.S. for any reason, Canada, Mexico, Tijuana, just down the Baja, you always want to make sure that you have a repatriation a, a addendum attachment to your trip because that way you get one number to call and they set this all up. I really love Colorado and I'm, I'm thankful to be able to help out Colorado families when in need.